The Raptors have been toying with the possibility of a purple rebrand that many fans are looking for, but in this film, we explain why you probably aren't going to get exactly what you want from the team in the offseason. Let's get into it. I think it's safe to say that pretty much every Raptors fan is completely on board with this full-scale rebrand into this purple era once again. I think the Toronto Raptors initial jerseys, the purple dino jerseys, the one I have the white one here, I have a purple one here. Those jerseys are widely regarded as the best jerseys in NBA history. Raptors fans would be fully on board with, I mean, a throwback version of that jersey this season for sure, and we'll talk about that. But Raptors fans would be fully on board with, you know, I don't think you need to go completely back to that exact same jersey, a carbon copy of that jersey. But kind of like what the Utah Jazz did with the rebrand this season, which is a jersey that doesn't exactly copy the best jersey that they've had, but it pays homage to that in a very good way and still has that retro feel with those modern touches. I mean, I think this is the best spread of jerseys that the NBA currently has to offer. Raptors fans are looking for something similar, but once again, I don't think that is what we're going to get in the offseason. And allow me to explain today on Amateur Sports 2, the second channel in the Amateur Production Network, where I give you additional Toronto Raptors content and videos just like this, where typically I actually go through more of the basketball stuff. This is more of the off-court stuff, but wanted to weigh in on this. So based on the information that we've seen, a full-scale rebrand seems rather unlikely. Also, in the way that it's July 30th, the time of recording, we're almost into August. If a full-scale rebrand was on the way, they probably would have already done it. Feels a little bit late to do that. But what is significant about this season for the Raptors it is that it is their 30th season. So they aren't going to do nothing. They have done some things. We saw it with today. The Raptors have changed their profile photo on their social media channels to a lovely 30th anniversary logo that does show hints of that purple once again, the purple that even I'm donning right now with the jacket that I have here. They've also added in some branding, as we see with the, with the video that they have here showcasing the 30, showcasing the Raptor. We've seen the Raptors come out with the Vince Carter version of the Raptors logo where the Raptor is dunking the basketball in the famous way Vince Carter did in the dunk contest as I have in the poster on my wall here. Evidently, Raptors fans love these retro eras because <laughs> look at all this stuff that I have here from the retro era just happened to be in the back here. But I think it's a little late for a full rebrand. So what should we actually expect to see from the team this season? Well, based on what I've seen online. And by the way, this is not all, this is not, none of this is inside information. All this is information publicly available to anybody. I'm just trying to condense it down into this video for you to understand the full picture of the situation. People with sources within the organization have continuously hinted at the fact that it's likely not going to be a full scale rebrand, but it could be maybe a little bit of a shift for this season. We might get different jerseys. I think that many Raptors fans aren't particularly happy with the current jerseys that are out there. Raptors have just continuously pumped out the jerseys with the Chevron, which has never been popular. Just trying to pull up some examples here. So, yeah, uh, it's very tired with the, the Chevron. It's very tired with the, with the gold right now. So this is what they had in their most recent refresh two chevrons one with the black the black one is quite nice and then the most recent city connect jersey was the gold the mustard gold with the black accents it's a little bit tired at this point with the black and cold gold so i think it is time to do something different but i my prediction will be different jerseys for the first three jerseys and probably the city connect jersey will be a purple jersey that does pay homage to the, the past, the inception of the franchise, the purple dino jersey in some way. Probably won't be an exact copy of the, a copy of the throwbacks, but something similar. The reason why they won't just go back to this standard purple dino jersey that you know would be an absolute hit is that this stuff is already a hit and always will be a hit. The purple and white jerseys here. Those are always going to be popular. Those are always going to generate sales. People are always going to be looking to buy that sort of thing. But the NBA, more than ever, on a year-to-year -year basis, we can say more than ever, the NBA is a corporation. It's a probably multi-billion dollar corporation at this point. 
that thrives off making money. That's how they pay the players. That's how they pay the players crazy amounts on a year-to-year basis. Not really a big point to me if I'm trying to make money and selling these jerseys as the main Raptors jerseys. These are going to sell regardless. So I expect to see some sort of a refresh to this jersey as the City Connect jersey, some sort of a throwback jersey. But I think that we are going towards a different jer- different jersey that we would see on a regular basis for the Toronto Raptors compared to what we have right now, which is a little bit tired again with the Chevrons that fans never really actually loved to begin with. The Raptors have been hinting at this sort of refresh all throughout the offseason. And, well, I'm trying to find some posts that actually showcase the purple right now. Actually, all of their stuff is, is very much red. Here we go. Here's an example. They've been hinting at something going on with the branding all summer. Everything has been this red gradient into purple, showcasing both of the colors. We have, yeah, every graphic they've been putting out is the red with the purple. So it's talking about the future, but it's also showcasing the past. So we're going to have those nostalgic vibes with a little bit of a modern twist going with that purple and red. So once again, I don't expect a full-scale rebrand. However, we'll get different jerseys. Perhaps what we'll see is maybe a bit of purple trim on the jerseys. I'm not sure if that's the way they want to go about it. The purple and red have never really meshed fantastically, which is why if you actually notice with this color here, you can even tell a bit from my jacket, this is a much more tame so I'm not very good with color, but so much more tame and subdued purple compared to the very vibrant purple that you would see on, on the stuff that I'm wearing, the, the purple jerseys. It's not quite as much of a bright purple, let's say. So I think maybe that blends a bit better with the red that we're going to see on the regular Raptors jerseys. Still, still going to keep the red, but perhaps more of an opportunity now for those purple accents to hit. And I think that would be pretty satisfying to have you know the modern touch of the red, but with the nostalgic vibe of the purple. That's what I that's what I expect to see. But as far as a full scale rebrand to the Raptors being purple, I don't think we'll get the same as what we got from the Utah Jazz, where they ditched the yellow, they ditched the black, they ditched the navy blue. That stuff that was tired. It was not as good as the previous stuff. The Jazz had jerseys, like, was it one year, two years? They had those awful bright yellow jerseys, ditched them and said, let's go back to what works. And I think they did such a great job of really playing with the modern minimalistic style, but also really going back to the roots and what was successful and what fans really like and still really like and still really want to see. Toronto Raptors, take some notes. The fans, I mean, you got the entire fan base on board with anything purple at this point. It'll be really hard to mess this one up, but we shall see. What do you make of it? Am I wrong? Will it be a full-scale rebrand? Do you agree with me? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. That's all for me from today on Amateur Sports 2. Check out more content that I have on my main channel, my reactions channel, the channel you are currently watching on, or perhaps another video that you may enjoy from the Amateur Hour Network. I will see you again next time for another video.